One of the great traditions of the Derby in recent years has been the Derby lunch, held on the Monday prior to the Derby final. It gave us a chance to catch up with the six connections, who of course were only too happy to talk about their pride and joy. Leon, I think it's safe to say as a sponsor you have to be here, but I don't think you mind being in Shelburne Park this time of the year. No, it's great Ian, look we're getting into the, I was going to say the final hurdle, but we've got six greyhounds left. Very open derby final, all the experts are telling me. Um, looking forward to this coming Saturday night, I've been here to quarterfinals, the semi-finals. The atmosphere has been electric. Um, I don't think there's been too many hard luck stories. Um, and we've got six very, very talented greyhounds. Two inside, two middle, two wide. So there shouldn't really be any excuses. And really looking forward to a fantastic night. Eamon, you've played in front of tens of thousands of people in Crow Park. You've been at Cheltenham in front of tens of thousands of people watching your charge, winning the champion hurdle. And on Saturday night, you'll be in front of a crowd of slightly less, a few thousand, however, and Ballyann Sim, your pride and joy, will race from Trap 1 the Derby final. How does that sound? Oh, it sounds brilliant. Um, we've got an ideal draw for the night. I really can't wait. It's, um, it's been a brilliant six months for me with the dog. He's just an outstanding dog. And he's just, um, he's just a, such a brave dog in the whole house. He's ideally housed. He's the only dog that's housed properly, I'd say, um, for Saturday night, for next Saturday night. And we're going to give it some go, I tell you that now. They all have to run to beat him now. I don't care what anyone says. You know, all the experts, he's the outside of the whole field. But um, they'll have to run to beat him. They learn, they learn their derby. 12 months ago, nearly to the day, good news, captured the derby. Does it get any easier? It doesn't get any easier. Um, it was absolutely fantastic last year to be part of the derby and to, to win it was just absolutely amazing. It's been a surreal year, it really has. And um, to be back and have a representative of the kennel is just absolutely fantastic. And um, the dog, he was brought up here to Shelburne um, at 18 months old and he did his fast trial and he was sold um, to the West Bank Club Syndicate. Um, headed by Tom Ace, uh, over to Kevin Hutton, who's also a syndicate member, and uh, they promised us when they bought him that, listen, we'll be sending this fella back to you for the Irish Derby, and lo and behold, they held to their word, and he's back again, and we to laugh, actually, last year, two weeks after um, Good News won the Derby, last year we were all having breakfast at home, and Pat says, well, he said, I have this year's Derby winner, he said, down in the kennel, but he said, no, lads, I think I might have sold next year's, so I'm hoping that he's right. Alan, how many times have you had to pinch yourself in the last few days? You have a derby final. Oh, that's what it is. That's, yeah, every morning, every watch it. Watch the race again and again and again. See the same, yeah. How many times have you actually watched the, the semi final? Sunday morning, eight times first. <laughs> Easy, yeah, yeah. RT, watched the whole thing of RT twice on Sunday night. Yeah. So, yeah, it was very good. Wish everyone well. Wish the best to everyone who gets it, gets it. And after that, it's just been a part of it. It's been the journey of it. Every week up here, kids coming up, they love it. It's about them as well. And, They've been here every week, and we're here, and dogs there, and this is anything. It's about the journey, Alan. The journey, that's all it is. Okay, hero by name, hero by nature, Clon Ryan hero. I suppose at this stage you can say he's been there, he's done that. He's won three classics on the Night of Stars. I'm sure this is easy. Uh, yeah, we would think, but the Derby is something else now. Uh, we never thought that we'd actually come here. Um, so it's absolutely an amazing achievement, especially for Hero. He's ran so many races, won so much, that it's a dream come true for the dog and for us. When you first got involved with this valley, you couldn't have imagined how it would go? Uh, no, because he was a very quiet dog um, and he was very nervous when he came to training first to Graham. But with a little bit of effort, you know, Graham got the better of him and brought him to this level. It'll be a family affair and then we'll go back to our little uh, village. It's at Laca, not Kilmarck. Um, as <laughs> that, that's important. You, that's very important and they wait for us there. The people that haven't come up will be there to meet us. So it's great. It's great for a small village. Paul, oh, another derby final. Does it help that you've been here so many times before? Of course it does. Yeah, it does. Um, you know, well, I suppose the experience, I'm at this for 40 years, Ian, believe it or not. So, I mean, it does help that you have the experience, there's no doubt. That doesn't mean James, it's brilliant to see a young man. I remember James Robinson speaking with one dog, coming in with his dad, Eugene, and, you know, and it's lovely to see him getting to his first final, and I really hope the dog runs well for him. It's a great achievement and it's a great thrill, but the experience does help. It doesn't mean you're going to win it, but it does help. Of course, you have to have the ammunition to win it. And in JT Taylor, he's a young, progressive, and hugely, hugely talented greyhound. Yeah, he is. He's after showing us something really 
amazing in his last two runs. I didn't think he could do that at this level, you know, and his pup then to be doing it as well is quite incredible. Um, but look, we're only finding out about him the same as you are, the public are the same thing. He's an incredible young dog. He, he has a great desire to be in front. Um, doesn't look like that now for most of the race, but um, he's fantastic. He's really exciting, you know, really exciting. Trap six. That's all we wanted. He's got trap six. There's six great dogs in it. Uh, we couldn't want more than the draw. I feel if he does, does his business, he can, you know, he, he, he can do well. Uh, can't find for words really to describe it. It's uh, we're all over the moon. Each heat, you know, was just tense. Now we're in the final. You know, what happens happens. Now we're glad to be in the final. Tell me, how would you get your hands on the dog? I have a couple of mates in tip. Um, I got a call uh, to come and have a look at this dog. I looked at this dog. I sent him down to Graham Holland. Graham had a look at him for me. Graham kept him for about two or three weeks. He gave me the thumbs up. He said, buy this dog. Frank Nyhan, new chairman of the Irish Greyhound Board. I suppose in most businesses, it's not a great time to come in when you're at your busiest, but in this case, it's great to be taking the helm at the IGB when it's Boys Sports Derby time. The real buzz around the place, and well, everything seems easy at this time of year. Oh yeah, this week is the best week to be chairman of the IGB. Might be great other weeks, but between now and next Saturday, sure, it's fantastic. Great buzz. Yeah, looking forward to a great final. It must be great to have the likes of Boyle Sports, a great sponsor behind what is our flagship and indeed World Greyhound Racing's flagship. Well, absolutely. I mean, we'd be lost without them. I mean, who else is going to put that kind of money into, into a race for us? I mean, it's what makes it such a big event. We've, we've increased the total prize fund to €300,000 this year. And we try to look after some of those greyhounds who aren't fortunate enough to get to the final, the syndicates, people who are the last UK greyhound that was left in. So we're trying to increase everyone give everyone a chance of getting a share of the money the winner obviously will get the biggest loss of the lot and they deserve it and um, they've been here since the start we're down to six and i just hope every greyhound comes back safe no injuries and have the best dog